Welcome to the Path of Exile 319 Lake of Calandra spoiler series, where I'm going to be talking about all the newest announcements from GGG and whether or not they're impactful. The first one is quite a doozy. It's the announcement of one of the new buffed or reworked unique items, Cloak of Flame. And to address my earlier question of is it impactful? Absolutely, and in a lot of ways that people probably won't recognize at first glance. Right now, the Cloak of Flame is a pretty mediocre item. It has some decent fizz taken as elemental, and that's kind of all it's got going for it. If you happen to get one at low levels, possibly a sixth link drop from Heist, then it's pretty good, but it's not really something that you'll consider for the endgame, even if it's double corrupted. I think it's totally fine for there to be items that have a place while leveling or in the early game, but eventually get outscaled. That said, it's always nice when items get buffed and end up being a little bit more important. Something that might not be your absolute min-max best item, but that you can get a lot easier than the min-max item and is also still incredibly powerful. I think Cloak of Flame absolutely fits into this category. So now that we've seen the original, what does the new one look like? We've got 67% to fire res. That's pretty nice, but definitely not something that can't be made up elsewhere. 62% increased Ignite Duration on enemies, which is particularly interesting for Ignite builds that are running either Black Flame or Replica Emberwake, since you sacrifice a lot of duration for both of those builds. When Ignites have a longer duration, the Ignite feels a lot smoother. Every time you hit an enemy and apply an Ignite, you're constantly rolling a damage range. If a damage range rolls towards the high end, the Ignite does more damage. Since only the highest damage Ignite applies, it's often very good to have a longer duration or to hit a little bit faster. Reflecting 100 fire damage to melee attackers isn't nothing, but definitely isn't a reason to use the item. However, the last line is absolutely incredible, assuming at least that it does exactly what it says it does and isn't changed by the final release. 40% of physical damage taken as fire damage. The old one had 20% of physical damage taken from hits as fire damage. And much like how the wording of increased versus more is very important, the wording here is also incredibly valuable. 20% of physical damage from hits taken as fire is very good for mitigating fizz hits. It makes your armor more effective, and it's not a bad stat to have. But 20% of physical damage taken as fire is incredible. Because if it isn't hit only, it applies to bleeds, something like corrupting fever, or other physical degeneration effects, which are some of the hardest things to defend against in Path of Exile. The only other thing that comes to mind that offers even remotely comparable levels of defense is the Maven Chest Doppelganger's Guise. I do think that Cloak of Flame is slightly worse than Doppelganger's Guise for most builds, but it could end up being better in certain situations, where maybe you're playing an Ignite build anyway, so the Ignite duration is beneficial, or where you're stacking a lot of fire res and you might not need any defense against chaos anyway. If before this was a 2 out of 10 unique item that you'd use while leveling and that's about it, now I'd put it at a solid 6 or 7 out of 10. It probably loses to a perfect endgame rare chest, and in the endgame it definitely loses to doppelganger's guys for most setups, but it's very close, and that makes it an incredibly powerful item. The maven chest is a relatively rare drop, I've only gotten one or two from all the mavens I've killed. Cloak of Flame is a very common drop, so it's a lot more accessible, and it might be something that you use until you switch over to a doppelganger's guys. In terms of reactions, I think it's most telling to see who's reacting positively and negatively to this, because players who understand Pewee well generally are reacting positively. Even if this isn't a perfect item, it's much better than before, and it fills a valuable niche. Players who maybe don't understand very much about the game, or very disingenuous content creators who are just trying to click farm for clout, are of course reacting that it's bad and that people are going to freak out and say, oh, well, if all the item buffs are like this, we're going to hear about 100 buffed items in the future. Now, this is a solid buff, and it makes the item much more usable. If people are complaining, they either don't understand how good it is, or just couldn't find any legitimate things to complain about, so they decided to cry on the internet because apparently that's fun to them. For now, though, I want your thoughts. Does this mean that you're going to use Cloak of Flame, and what do you want to see from other buffed unique items since there's 99 to go? Let me know some of your thoughts down in the comments below. A special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support helps keep me independent and allows me to turn down things like sketchy mobile game sponsorships. You can do so for as low as $1 a month over on Patreon, or if you want to support me completely for free, 
Then you can join the community by hopping into my Discord, link below. If you want more content, check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts. It's a place that I use to review games, ramble my way through video essays, and a lot more. Or of course, you can just click the suggested video in the card right now. I hope you learned something today, and maybe I'll see you again sometime soon.